Hello, ladies of Power Lunch. Welcome, everybody. I have a wonderful guest with us today. This is Bevin, and she's with a fantastic company called Peach. I love Bevin, truly, truly love Bevin, and it is my great, great pleasure to bring her and share her with you. And I'm very excited that she's also going to be a part of our Ladies Power Lunch Presents Transformation 2020 Fall Summit. Bevin, welcome. Thank I you. you. And I know you so very well, but <laughs> our audience does not. Would you be a dear and just share with us who are you and what do you do? Yes, I would love to. Thanks for having me here. And I'm Bevan. I am head of sales for a women's athleisure brand called Peach. For, I, gee, I'm actually representing right now. <laughs> so we create clothes for gym work and play, but overall we have a larger platform that we are working from. And that is a mission-based platform to be a force for good, to help women thrive. And one of the ways we do that is to really invest in female entrepreneurship and have the opportunity to grow women in our communities around us. And so the chance to be with you today fits right into our larger picture of what we, how we hope to impact the world. I love it. And I mean, we had the opportunity to choose from different companies to work with our brand and we love your mission. We love what you're doing in the world. I felt like it was the perfect fit. So Thank welcome, you. welcome, welcome. Glad Thank to you. have you. So as everybody knows, we're in a time that's a little bit different from times mm. that we have seen in the past. Yes. And, you know, it's been a little bit of upheaval for a lot mm -hmm. of people, for a lot of the people who might be your customers and ours. Mm -hmm. Their businesses are not necessarily doing exactly the way that it was before the pandemic. Have you had any shifts or any changes in your business? How have you guys been doing? It's such a great and timely question. And um, the short answer is yes, lots of changes. And, and really what happened for us, because we are not a direct to consumer brand, we actually have a middle person who is our stylist and she goes out and markets and builds a client base on behalf of Peach. And so when the world went inside and shut down, so did she. She has children she needs to take care of. She had businesses that she was trying to figure out if they were even allowed to be open anymore. And for us as her side hustle, which is usually what we are when she, when she represents our brand, we really had to be shifted onto a side burner for very real and important reasons. And so as a result, um, we ended up facing very different uh, situations for our revenue. And, and we had to look at it and say, okay, we don't know how long COVID is going to be here. We have no idea if this is a blip or if this is long term, but we need to develop a plan to support our sellers still being successful at Peach, even if they need to now become a homeschool teacher, <laughs> even if they need to prioritize something else right now. And so what we ended up doing is completely shifting our uh, business model. We actually just debuted what our official new business model will be, which is, um, we talked about this earlier, it's sort of like this place of uh, bringing through the digital space our products in an entertaining, entertainment style of engagement with our client base so that our stylists no longer have to be in person with their clients. They can actually invite them to this larger fun event that um, we as a home office are running. So it takes a lot of the lift off of our sellers and it makes it easier access for our buyers during this time when we can't actually touch, feel, and be together in a room. And so it, it's a paradigm shift for us. And, and I'll just say one more thing is what we had to do, and this, this is the world of entrepreneurship, what we had to do when we saw it changing is we had to ask the questions. We had to say, what does this mean for us? And what do we need to be doing right now? And so that's that curiosity and to get really creative. And we say, what build, how could we innovate right now? It's like that dance of creativity and curiosity is really what allowed us to come through on the other side where we are today, building um, a, 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 an even stronger, even more impactful brand. I like that you say even stronger, mm -hmm. even more impactful, because that's sort of the theme of our fall conference. We're looking at Transformation 2020, which was our overarching theme for the year, but we're looking at it through the lens of turning the obstacles that have shown up into opportunity. That's right. And so that we can, in our businesses and in our lives, really grow 
out of this experience that we're having right now. And so the fact that you guys have been able to turn it around and make it work and make it even better than it's ever been, this is really, really inspiring. And I think our attendees at our fall conference will be really fortunate to be able to be in the same virtual room with you to learn some of the wisdom that you have to share. Um, Thank you. Would you yes <laughs> open to giving us just a tiny little sneak peek a teeny little taste okay teeny okay. little taste of what you're planning to talk about when we all get together and keeping in mind because i am all zoomed out from cdc webinars to medicare yeah. seminars to all the networking things that i get on mm -hmm. i am not ready to be on another zoom meeting with people talking at me so i'm really excited that our workshop our Summit is going to be very workshop based and I'm really excited about what you are bringing to the work. Yes. Well, I loved it when we talked about what we could do and you said no decks, you know, no PowerPoints taking up the screen. We are getting into it together. And I was like, oh, she's speaking my language. <laughs> and um, so really what I thought could be an amazing, powerful time for us together is to let the world of what I like to call modified art therapy take over where we're going to jump into all the benefits that come with art. Now, I don't want anyone to get nervous that says, oh my gosh, I have to draw something or I have to, I have to be a creative artist. No, I can't even draw a complete circle. So that's not what this is about. This is about welcoming in the power of how art can touch us in a different place in our being and help us to uncover things in our subconscious that we actually can't get at without that conduit. And it's be fun we're gonna share we'll have some activities and then we'll have some real learning and growth that keyword together through our session so I'm looking forward to it I am looking forward to it with great anticipation as a matter of fact when we fleshed out exactly what you were going to do I have to share I got goosebumps it's it's going to be amazing and I'm looking forward to it so if there was somebody who's on the fence Bevin who's kind of thinking about coming to our fall summit but they're not really really sure do you have any words to encourage them to make it you know it's probably something that people have heard before but it's so truthful that it's worth saying again in times like this, when you're looking for direction, when you're looking for inspiration, when you're looking for motivation and an opportunity comes your way, your best answer is just say yes, because you have no idea what that can bring to you. So what I would say is just say yes, come, and, and the opportunity that could be inside this day is tremendous. So just say yes. Awesome. I just want to remind everybody that our event is going to be on the 21st of September, starting 1030 to 330 p.m. Eastern Time. So mark your calendars. The link to your tickets is below. And of course, all the chat, all the profits from this event are going towards charity so we look forward to being able to support that thank you so much bevin thank for you. joining us thanks for your time and i can't wait to be we'll a soon. part of the event with you thank you